Hello and Happy New Year! As we stand here on the precipice of yet another new year, I want to share just a couple of thoughts and another song with you. Now, New Year's is a time when many people make resolutions or commitments to improve upon things in their lives uh, from the year past. And while I've never personally subscribed to this idea of resolutions, I do think that the new year is an excellent time to take some inventory in our lives to see where we are and, I guess, where we can do better. For a new year, as with every single new day, is an opportunity to improve upon the previous. Now, this idea of a better and brighter future, I think, is directly connected with faith. Because faith always deals with what lies ahead, what's in the future. We learn from the past, but we have faith and hope in what the Lord can and will do for us in the future, a, a time that we can't see right now. Elder Jeffrey R. Holland uh, touched on this subject, in fact, gave a whole uh, address on this at the BYU devotional at the beginning of 2009, uh, just two years ago, at the beginning of the year. He said it much better than I can. He said, quote, So as a new year starts and we try to benefit from a proper view of what has gone before, I plead with you not to dwell on days now gone, nor to yearn vainly for yesterdays, however good those yesterdays may have been. The past is to be learned from, but not to be lived in. We look back to claim the embers from glowing experiences, but not the ashes. And when we have learned what we need to learn, and have brought with us the best that we have experienced, then we look ahead. We remember that faith is always pointed toward the future. Faith always has to do with blessings and truths and events that will yet be efficacious in our lives. Faith is for the future. Faith builds on the past, but never longs to stay there. Faith trusts that God has great things in store for each of us, and that Christ truly is the high priest of good things to come. Close quote. Kind of feels like a conference talk with this quote up on the screen. Anyway, there's an old Scottish song that is traditionally sung in most English-speaking countries that touches on this idea of gleaning the good from days gone by, but moving on and up. Should old acquaintance be forgot, the song asks. So my hope for you and for me is that we will do as Elder Holland says, that we will learn from the past, but not live in it and that we will have faith and hope in God and in the good things to come that He has for us. May your new year be happy and prosperous, and maybe, if we will, we can make 2011 the best year ever. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? For old lang syne, my dear, for old Lang Syne, we'll take a cup of kindness yet for days of old Lang Syne. For old Lang Syne, my dear, Oh